Hi, I'm Daz. Today I'm talking about 10 GHz or 3 cm amateur television. My local club has asked me to do a demonstration of my equipment so I thought it would be in order to make a small video or short video about it also. Here we can see the receive setup for my 10 GHz amateur television equipment. If I just zoom into the LMB first of all. It's a standard LMB but it has been modified by adding a second puck to the local oscillator in order to reduce the frequency. Mine runs on 9.07 GHz so it then means it covers the 10 GHz amateur band quite well. The second device here you can see is a standard satellite receiver, an analogue one. The only modification I've made to this is to increase the video output because we use a lower deviation on amateur television so you need a little bit more signal. And the third component you can see here is the uh, monitor. This is just a standard monitor but any television set can accept an analogue input will, will do the job. Um, an analogue composite input that is. Here we can see the transmitter side of things. On the right you can see a gun diode FM transmitter. On the left just a standard camcorder with a composite output. And in my case I also have a Titler unit which was made from a kit that produces my call sign ident on the picture. I've melted it all on this tripod just for convenience. I've drawn out a block diagram of a homebrew uh, gun diode transmitter that I've made myself which we'll look at in a minute. Basically the composite video comes in here it goes through pre-emphasis all that means is that um, as the frequency increases we're increasing the output signal this is a standard feature if you're making a FM transmitter. Then it goes into a video amplifier which just makes up for the losses and then the circuit here it's basically a voltage regulator which holds the gun diode to a constant voltage but also if you notice there's capacitive coupling of the video signal so what the gun diode is actually seeing is a constant DC signal but with the modulation superimposed and as the voltage is um, modulated the frequency of the gun diode changes slightly thus producing frequency modulation Here we can see the inside of my homebrew transmitter. The video signal comes through the pre-emphasis circuit, which is here. Then it goes through a video amplifier, which is just a standard video amplifier chip. It goes through the coupling capacitors, and notice how big they are, because a video signal controls, uh, contains very low frequency signals, and you need to pass those. And here we can see the output transistor, which is modulated by the video signal and just a voltage regulator just to keep everything constant. Here's the top of the transmitter. Here we can see the gun, gun diode assembly and a horn on the front. If we look inside we can see the gun diode in its cavity and that helps to set the frequency of the gun diode. A little bit more about the gun diode. It's quite an interesting device. It's semiconductor, but what it has is a negative resistance, which means it's got a gain. And as we know, that if you've got gain, you can produce an oscillator. These typically produce around about 10 milliwatts of power, which is not a lot. But what you can do is you can add a horn to it. Now this horn, I believe, has got a gain of around... Um, Let's have a look. Yeah, 18 dB. So if you add that to your 10 milliwatts, you're going to have well over 500 milliwatts of power, obviously in one direction. So even though these don't produce a lot of power, by using horns, you can get a fair distance on them. If you look on the internet, you can find plans to make your own horn. Here's one that I made. It's just made out of um, copper sheets. So it's a little bit delicate, so it could probably do with a little bit of um, strengthening I guess but it, it, it's just you know um, it's just great to be able to homebrew some of this stuff still because I think we, we spend too much time as amateurs just um, operating and not building. 
There's other means and ways of making a 10 gigahertz transmitter, and this is something I found at a radio rally. <laughs> Quite interesting, really. This transmitter uses part of the local oscillator from the low noise block um, um, receiver. Um, if I just throw this over here, um, this is a circuit board out of an LMB and inside an LMB is the oscillator and I mentioned the puck earlier and this is the puck. As you can see this transmitter uses part of an LMB board and the puck transmitter forms the basis of the transmitter. And again uh, what we've got is a, a modulator which is modulating the supply voltage here and that mod FM modulates the um, transmitter again. And this part of the circuitry here is just the power supply for the LMB. Um, there's plus supplies and a minus supply. So th this is another idea for a transmitter um, that you could possibly build yourself. And I've seen a lot of information on the web on constructing this type of transmitter. So again, you know, it's it's another opportunity to do some home brewing. If you want to know more about amateur television, I suggest you look at the British Amateur Television Club website. There's there's lots of information there, and there's lots of information you can find on the web. But it's it's a fascinating uh, frequency to operate on. I know a lot of people say that 10 gigahertz is line of sight, but in my opinion, that's not entirely true. Um, it, it's it's an interesting frequency because you can reflect the signal of large objects and so if you haven't got a direct of line of um, path uh, between you and a friend you can simply um, reflect off a large object. hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, I uh, hope you find some interesting 10 gigahertz.